My name is Meg Jones. I'm a reporter from the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel. I'm at the EAA Air Venture Museum today in the Eagle Hangar, which um, uh, highlights World War II planes and uh, their crews. Um, and they have, uh, it's the day before um, Veterans Day, and they are opening up a new exhibit on airplane nose art from World War II planes. And it's a unique collection of um, about three dozen um, nose art sections from uh, airplanes that were just actually saved just purely by chance. After World War II, um, the planes that uh, made it out of the war uh, were flown back to the United States and um, there were rows and rows and rows of them at scrap yards that were just basically cut in half and then just scrapped. But uh, for whatever reason, a foreman at a uh, scrap yard in Arkansas saw some of this beautiful art and he uh, told his men to cut off, um, you know, to get their uh, uh, saws and to cut, cut these pieces off. So they've saved about, I think, 33 or 34 of these uh, pieces of nose art um, that were donated to the Commemorative Air Force Museum down in Texas in the 1960s. And it's a unique, uh, kind of a one-of-a-kind folk art um, but with, uh, with, with a fascinating history because these are planes that were flying over Europe and uh, over Asia in the Pacific and um, uh, apparently the, uh, it was up to the, to the pilot, the pilot got to cho choose the name of, um, of the planes and um, the, uh, they didn't have like specific artists if they just happened to be at a, at a base where um, somebody who was artistically inclined or maybe taken some art schooling. Um, a lot of times it was the mechanics or ground crew people that were just pretty good with, with brushes um, and paint and um, they would the crews then would pay uh, the the artists uh, sometimes in cigarettes sometimes in whiskey sometimes in uh, money that they'd collected uh, for uh, poker or that sort of thing so um, but it's kind of fascinating because um, uh, you really learn a lot about what these guys were thinking um, here at uh, the EAA Air Adventure Museum um, some of the uh, art is behind a uh, curtain because um, it's uh, not just scantily clad, but uh, naked women or um, kind of you know risque uh, things. So it's not for all uh, uh, not for all audiences. Although there's plenty of stuff for for kids to see here too. Um, I interviewed uh, two uh, B-17 ball turret gunners from Wisconsin who are here today, and uh, they talked about uh, the significance of what the nose art meant to them too, which is pretty cool.